One of the questions I get asked all the time is, where do I start? How do I start the outsourcing process? How do I even know what to delegate? Well, one of the things that we do offer you, if you check in the description below, is we have a free download PDF for you that's called 365 Things That You Can Delegate to Your Virtual Assistant Right Now Today. So get that guide, get that download, it's free. And then you can start going down that list and seeing what you can take off your plate. But how do you get started in this whole process to begin with? Well, the first thing I want you to write down, if you wanna write down a little affirmation for yourself, it is says, perfection is the enemy of good. So that's the first thing, because one of the main things that we run up against, and me as a trainer and a coach, and talking to each one of you about onboarding you for virtual services is that you can do it better than everyone else. And that may be true. You probably can do it any better than anyone else because you own your business. And so you care the most about your business more than anyone else. But the problem with that is you will never grow. Number one, most people don't even take actions to start their businesses because of the fear of failure and the fear of it not being perfect. And they want to be perfect. You cannot be perfect when you start a business. You are going to make mistakes. You are going to fail. And guess what? That's okay. And people expect that. So just be open and honest with yourself. Be transparent with your audience and let everyone know that, hey, I'm here and guess what? I make mistakes. So I'm here out on my deck doing this video for you and I could have made this a beautiful stage for you, but you know what? Right back here, right behind me, there's a big, huge box from Home Depot and that is my new standing bathtub that I am doing in my renovation prog project. Also, you'll see behind me my egg chair that I love to sit on and read. You'll see my umbrella up right there to give us a little bit of shade during this filming. And then you'll also see my Tyvek on my walls because I haven't done the siding on my house yet. So those are, um, there. it's ready, it's perfectly fine, of course, but I have a specific siding that I wanna put on my house that I'm waiting to receive. So am I gonna wait till all that's done? No. Am I gonna wait till I have both of my sons here who can help me, you know, or any of my nine kids here to help me move that box? No, I am going to do this now because this video needs to be done now. So this is an example of how you just be good and not perfect, okay? So take an example from me. I get leads from my YouTube channel. I get leads to make websites for people. I get leads for our VA company, and I get leads for coaching and consulting businesses So and training people. So if I can do this, you can do it for sure, all right? I'm not trying to be perfect. I have my transition glasses on, which means right now they are sunglasses because the sun is out and they change. I'm not worrying about it, okay? now. If I say, um, I don't care, all my videos, almost all of them, I will tell you probably 90% of them are raw videos that I don't even edit. I do the video and then I publish it to YouTube so that you can get this information as quick as possible without having to number one, wait for me. And I'm not gonna procrastinate. I just need to get my stuff out there. I need to let you know what's going on in SEO and building your websites and social media management and delegating and outsourcing and everything else that I talk about for business strategies on my business strategy channel. So let's go back to what should you start? How do you know? How do you know what to delegate? So the one exercise that I will have you do is every day you, from the time you wake up until the time you go to sleep, write down every single thing that you do for one week. You need to go through every single day of the week to do this because some people do projects on the weekends that they don't realize that they're even doing. Um, and this includes all of the personal things that you do. So just make a list of everything that you do every single day. I don't care if it's taking a shower, you write down you took your shower. How long did it take you to take you that shower? Was it 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes? What was it, okay? Whatever it is, you're gonna write that down. So you're gonna write down every, every lead call you make, every client you call, every customer you call, um, every you know um, review that you write, um, all the emails that you're writing, how long are you staying in, the e in your email systems? All of this stuff you need to write down every, every single day, Monday through Sunday, a list of everything that you're doing. That includes cooking, picking up the kids from school, etc. okay? Everything, personal and business. After you've done that, what I want you to do is take whatever color marker you like the best. I like to take green for go, 
And then you're gonna go through and every single thing that you've repeated more than one time during the day or anything that doesn't need any training to delegate, you highlight it green. Those are the things that you're gonna delegate first, okay? Then take another color, and that means outsourcing, okay? Now take another color of the things that you can delegate that are physical where you know, you hire a housekeeper to come in and clean your house, or you hire someone to do your laundry or to cook for you, those kind of things, or you're ordering, you're, you're delivering, having your groceries delivered, those highlight a different color because those ones, obviously you have to set that up and you're not sending it um, to us to do for you, right? But get those things off your plate first. So everything that's green, and let's just say that other color is pink. So everything green and pink, you're gonna work this week on getting off of that list. Now remember, nature abhors a vacuum, so where every time you take things off a list, there will always be something to fill that list. But what you wanna choose is the things that are the highest and best use of your time, number one, and you wanna work in your 80% your of the tasks that actually bring you income. So anything that isn't a direct correlation to increasing your income, those ones should also be delegated. Um, and then of course, income generation tasks we can do as well. So I want you to go through that list because those are the things that you're gonna, very, at the very beginning, you're gonna get all that stuff off the list. And I will tell you in most situations and most people that I consult with and coach and help to onboard, it's going to be checking your email. It's going to be responding to emails. Those are things that are no brainers that any um, outsourced person can do for you. Um, that's going to be, as far as your business, that's going to be one of the first things. Another thing on there is going to be your social media interactions and stuff, which again is something that's super easy for someone else to do and they don't even need to be trained in it. Um, anything else, your bookkeeping doesn't, you know, that those are kind of things that you can outsource right away that anyone that's trained in those fields already knows how to do. So those are the kind of things that you're going to outsource first, okay? Now, the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna highlight everything that needs training, okay? Anything that is specific to you that you have an SOP for that someone else has to learn that SOP, you're gonna highlight all those in like orange or choose a different color, it doesn't matter. But I like to do those in orange because for me that triggers warning, I shouldn't be doing this, but I need to take a few minutes to teach some, you know, create an SOP that I can give to the VAs to do. Now, most of those things, of course, we're already gonna know how to do since I train all the VAs and all of the topics. And we have Daisy, my COO, who's really good at training as well. So we get all the trainings done uh, with our VAs so that way it's easier for you to onboard. But there may be specific things that only, like that you want something done in a specific way, let's say in your CRM and you have a specific message that you send out um, instead of one of ours. And those are the kind of things that you would want to, to make sure we have. Um, but if it's like in a videography, we do video editing, podcast editing and publishing and all that. And you might have a specific way you like that done. And so that's called an SOP and you and Daisy will work together to create that. And then you can take that off your plate. Now, those are the things that are gonna take, you know, more than five or 10 minutes to coordinate and get all put together. I promise you, it's very well worth your time to take those few minutes to actually create your SOPs with Daisy. So I look forward to working with you. Please ask me any questions in the comments below. I am Katerina Gassette. I am the owner and founder of Get It Done For Me Now Virtual Services via Coach Katerina LLC. I look forward to helping you and answering any of your questions and outsourcing and onboarding to our company.